All right, I got to do a little... Uh, well, I got to talk about this before I do a reaction on this, you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people out here going to laugh at this reaction. They're going to be like, what? Are you fucking serious? You really did used to do this shit back in the day? 1114 North Waller, Chicago, Illinois. I was 14 and 15. 14 and 13, 14 and 15. Me and my grandma used to watch this show. I got addicted to this show at a young age, y'all. And you really do not hear people say this shit at... I'm telling you, I was addicted to this show. I used to make fun of people who used to actually watch this shit before I started watching it. And once I seen that first episode... And the name Todd. I'm going to say that again. Todd. T-O-D-D. -D. This man was vicious. This man was crazy. Insane. He was my favorite character on this show. And this is a classic show, y'all. And I used to watch them all. From General Hospital... All my children and days of our lives and one life to live. Todd Effing Manning, y'all. Woo, this man. And you know, it's not a gay thing, you know what I'm saying, to admit this, but that man, like the long hair, the perfect skin. The fucking, uh, like, dude had it all. For real, he had it all. And he was a monster on that show. I used to look forward to what's gonna happen next. I mean, I was glued to the TV, y'all. I don't like, it's one thing I didn't like about his character, what they did. You know, he used to be a menace. He was crazy. He was getting into everyone's business, fucking up everything. Then they decided to make him a manny. Then he got close with Vicky. He found out that he was Vicky's brother. And the Todd that I knew changed. He turned into a nice guy. I didn't like that. I wanted him to stay like just tormenting people. That's the Todd I like. But when he got on that nice shit, I kind of fell off with the show after that. You know what I'm saying? I had stopped watching it. But this scene that I'm about to uh, react to now is a very important scene and whoever has went through this you know god i know i'm pretty sure you know god is with you and i hope a lot of y'all are doing a lot better now i hope that you all overcame whatever uh like i i just know it was hard to deal with this that i'm about to react to and if you don't think that you can watch this reaction please don't because it has something to do with rape and it, this can be a very a very touching scene. So I'm, I'm just warning everyone, uh, if you're not, you know, strong enough to watch this, please don't. Please don't. This is just a very powerful scene. And I remember this scene. I do. It, I remember the way I was feeling when I had, uh, when I found... Well, when she admitted this shit to Todd. It, it was crazy to feel this way at a young age. But I felt everything about it. For real. But we finna jump into this, y'all. Alright, let's go. If you want me to leave, I'll leave. And by the way, the reason this is an old ass show. This is the only thing I was able to pull up. I know that the quality of the video is not good. It's just the way it is. It's not my camera. It's just how it is, y'all. 
But if y'all seen, if y'all know Vicky's face and know Ty, y'all know exactly how they look and shit like that. So let's go. What, what do you want? Okay. Well, look, this may be my only shot at happiness with, with Blair. I mean, and I, I don't want to screw it up. I don't even know if I can ask you for help. I don't know if I can give you any help. What do you need? I need to know about my father. About your father. But every time I even mention his name, you, do, you totally whack out, so I don't know if I should ask. I don't know what our father has to do with you getting married, though. Look, you told me that I was just like him, and you didn't mean a compliment when you said it. Now, I, I don't know what you meant. But I, I feel like if, if I knew more about him, maybe I could avoid making his mistakes, because he's not somebody... He's not the kind of man that I want to be. No. No, he was not the kind of man you would ever want to be. Not at all. Just tell me about my father, that's all. You told me that I was better off not knowing my father. You said life with Victor Lord was a living hell. Now, what did you mean by that? You don't want to know. Try me. Todd, please, you asked. And you know the crazy thing before I get to this scene, to finish this uh, part, damn, these two couldn't stand each other. Before they found out they, they were related, Oh, it was so many episodes where them, these two were just going at it. I'm telling you. Todd and Vicky, woo, woo And I forgot about Blair. He didn't used to get along with Blair neither. Todd didn't get along with nobody. Like, no one. Everyone was against this man. It's just crazy how it ended up. You know, I, I, I don't like the way they did that shit with Todd, though, for real. But it's crazy how he just uh, said that before she told him that he was like, I believe that's what he just said, that he was like him, but she just admitted that she, well, she's hoping that he's nothing like their father. And Ty has a right to know. For real, he has a right to know. And I know this was hard as hell for Vicky to tell him. To admit this I think it's hard for a lot of people to actually admit this even in real life that's just something that a lot of people just don't like to talk about that's why a lot of this shit is coming out now like especially in Hollywood because a lot of that shit happened to a lot of those people when they were young and now that they're older they're able to you know they're more comfortable in their skin and they're more comfortable to where they can actually talk about it and you know I I can't imagine I can't imagine, y'all, but let's get back to it. For my health, I'm giving it to you. This is it. Just forget about your father. Forget the Come past. Come on, Vicky, is that what you're doing? Go marry Blair and be happy. Why do you think that I'm here? There's no way that I can be happy with myself or with Blair until I know who I really am and what kind of a man my father was. Please Look, go. I won't stay much longer, I promise, but I need to know more, please. Why are you doing this? Because I'm about to me? be a father myself. Blair and I get married tomorrow. I want it to work. I want the, the family, the, the marriage, the whole damn thing. And, and you see this, Vicky. This is there. It's always there. I remember that scar. I remember when he got that scar. I know a lot of y'all do too. I forgot all about that shit, so he just pointed at his face. That was like a big part of Ta, who Ta was, that scar, I'm telling you. To remind me of... of my anger and that there is something broken and twisted inside of me and I want to get past the anger and I want to fix what's broken but how can I do that if I don't know how I got here or, or how I got to be the way that I am no it doesn't matter what you think of me I am still your brother now please help me you don't understand what you're asking what you want. Look, there is nothing that you can say that's, that's going to shock me. Now, I need to know the truth about Victor. Oh, Father. Get out of my house. I have nothing to say to you. Get out of my house. Okay. You are not wanted here. I know you're here. in there somewhere, okay? Don't let this guy take over whoever he is. Stay away. Come on, Vicky, fight him. You can beat this. You can beat this.
What happened? He was a monster. Your dear Lord. Yes, he was. What did he do to you? He abused me. Sexually. He raped me. Starting when I was just a little girl. He raped me for years. Like father, like son. God. Oh, God. Oh, it all makes sense now. I You know, it's crazy when, you know, you have a parent like that and you end up growing up doing bad things that can affect a lot of people. And then you find out that your father is even worse than you were. And it started making you believe that that's how you're going to be. And I felt that, man. I felt that shit for real. Like I said, it's a powerful scene. Very powerful. And like everyone, anyone who's been through that, you know, there are no words. There are no words. And if you're able to get stronger, able to talk about it that's unbelievable strength that's courage and I salute you for real I salute you but this scene man shit Todd was my dude Todd was my dude. I actually need to look them up and see how they doing today. Even how they look today. For real. They gotta be up there in age. This was in the 90s, you know what I'm saying? Mid, like early to mid 90s. When I used to watch this shit. So, they gotta be up there in age. For real. Not too old. Vicky. I don't even know if Vicky's still living. Y'all hit me up in the comments and let me know. Cause she, was, she was already, I mean she was a little cutie back then. For her age, she was. Blair was a cutie. I mean, they had a lot of pretty women on that show. But uh, I hope y'all enjoyed Well, I wouldn't say enjoyed it. Y'all know it. I hope y'all, you know, this took y'all back, you know, down memory lane. Make y'all think about when y'all to watch the soaps. And, you know, great memories sitting in front of the TV. You know, we had this big-ass um, floor model TV. You know, those big, huge floor model TVs? that like pretty much every grandparent had. You know, if you had one of those, you was the shit back in the days, you know what I'm saying? It was an old school floor model. I think it was like a, I don't know, 20, like a 
24 inch floor model TV, something like that. But the way it, how thick it was, it made it seem like it was bigger. It was a bigger screen than that. And you know, it had the knobs and shit on it, which you turn, you know, or the, the ones that you click in and shit, the buttons. And, you know, them was the days, man, for real. Them was the days. Using pliers for, uh, to turn the knobs and shit when they broke off, or using um, hangers for antennas and shit like that. You know, that's what we did, you know, to survive back in them days, y'all. But I hope y'all enjoyed this. Not the reason, you know, not because of the rape thing, just because, you know, it was from back in the day. But let me get on out of here because your boy is starting to get tired. And hit me up in the comments and let me know who's y'all favorite char character on One Life to Live. Who's your favorite character on General Hospital? Or All My Children? Or Days of Our Lives? I mean, there was so many of them out there, y'all. So many soaps. You know what I'm saying? I didn't like Days of Our Lives. I didn't like that one. All My Children and One Life to Live was my shit. General Hospital was a distant third. But I didn't like Days of Our Lives at all. I never watched that show. All right, your boys out of here. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Until next time, peace, love, and deuces. Man, I'll be mad if I can't post this shit up. All this damn talking I just did. <laughs>